else going on here? I'm not going to have you telling me what to do. Hi and welcome to Select 10. Cinema is often seen as the ultimate form of escapism, and if that's the case then fantasy movies are surely the medium's purest forms of transportation, grabbing the viewer and plunging them into distant lands and magical concepts that question our own relationship with the world. In this video, we are going to count down our picks for top 10 best fantasy movies, which you should watch now. And the link of my previous video about fantasy movies is in description. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Into the Woods. Based on Stephen Sondheim's 1986 Broadway musical of the same name, Into the Woods is a musical fantasy film directed by Rob Marshall. The plot revolves around a baker and his wife, who desperately want a child, but are unable to have one, due to a witch curse on the baker's family. While the witch on the other hand, has the power to lift the curse and let them to have a child, but only if the baker and his wife obtain four key materials that she requires to prepare a potion. The four magical items she requested are, a cow as white as milk, a coat as red as blood, hair as brilliant as corn, and a slipper as pure as gold, none of which she is allowed to touch. The couple accepts the witch proposal and goes out on a quest to collect the four magical items, along the way they meet Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, each one on a quest to fulfill a wish. Overall, the film is a lot of fun, and if you like fairy tales, you'll love it. And the film has a 5.9 rating on IMDb and 71% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9. Reign of Fire. It is a 2002 post-apocalyptic fantasy film, directed by Rob Bowman. The film is set in England in the year 2020, 20 years after workmen on a London tunneling project accidentally awoke dragons from millennia of sleep, and the beasts have now overtaken humans as the world's dominant species. While the main plot focuses on Quinn, who is responsible for warding off the beasts and keeping a community alive. Denton Van Zandt, the only man to ever kill one of the dragons, and Alex, a scientist who is also a member of Van Zandt's army. Now with humanity's survival on the line, this three must band forces to hunt down and slay the beasts in a last-ditch effort to reclaim the world. To be honest, the reviews for this film are divided, but I had a good time viewing it. I mean, watching dragons is always entertaining, and despite the mixed reviews, it's a pretty good movie. And it has 6.2 rating on IMDb. Number 8. The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. In 2009, Terry Gilliam directed this fantasy film. The story is set in London and follows Dr. Parnassus' sideshow group as they promise the audience a trip to the Imaginarium, an imaginary world ruled by Dr. Parnassus' mind, where wishes come true. In the stories that Dr. Parnassus tells to his daughter Valentina and his assistant Anton, he claims to have lived for more than 1,000 years, but unknown to his daughter or his group, Parnassus has a dark secret. Thousands of years ago he traded the soul of his daughter Valentina to the devil, and now the devil has come to collect his prize. However now to save her, Parnassus must make a final wager that whoever collects five souls first will win Valentina. Meanwhile, despite the risks, Tony, a man saved from hanging by the Parnassus troop, chooses to assist them in their collection. And the film has a 6.8 rating on IMDb and a 64% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. Inkart. Based on Cornelia Funky novel of the same name, it is a 2008 fantasy adventure film, directed by Ian Softly. The story centers around Mo and his daughter Maggie, who have the extraordinary ability to bring storybook characters to life just by reading them aloud. However, his gift backfires when he accidentally summons Capricorn, the evil villain from the novel Inkart. To correct his mistake, now Mo and Maggie must find a way to return him to his literary realm before he destroys the world. But this will be a difficult task because the Capricorn likes his new world and will not agree to leave it. If you have read the book, then you might feel a little disappointed, but if you do not compare with the book, then you will like it. It is a full-on fun fantasy adventure that keeps you entertained from the start. And the movie has a 6.1 rating on IMDb. Number 6. Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. It is a 2013 fantasy action film, written and directed by Tommy Wercola. The story follows siblings Hansel and Gretel, who are left alone in the woods by their father and kidnapped by a dark witch in a candy house, but they kill the witch and manage to escape. Years later, the siblings have become famous witch hunters. However, when 11 children go missing in a small village, the mayor summons Hansel and Gretel to rescue them. 
During their search they immediately learn that the Blood Moon is coming up in three days and that Muriel, a powerful dark witch is behind the kidnappings. She plans to use the children with a secret ingredient in a broth that will protect the coven of witches against a fire. Meanwhile, Hansel and Gretel also discover secrets about their parents that could hold the key to their past. Honestly this movie is underrated and take my suggestion, do not judge a fantasy and action film by rating or scores and this movie proves that. Watch it, it's totally worth your time. And it has a 6.1 rating on IMDb. Number 5. The Great Wall. It is a 2016 scientific fantasy action monster film directed by Zhang Yimou. After arriving in pursuit of gunpowder, a European mercenary warrior, William Guerin is imprisoned by Imperial Chinese forces within the Great Wall of China. However, when he figures a way to defeat the monsters that attack the Great Wall, he joins forces with the Chinese in order to aid in the fight against a horde of horrific creatures. Despite its simplicity, the story does not appear to be ridiculous, on the opposite it's a well-crafted film that addresses all of the viewer's questions and follows a logical series of events. Considering it was made in 2016 on $150 million, the film has mind-boggling battle sequences, and if you haven't seen it yet, I recommend that you add it to your watch list, you won't be disappointed. And the movie has a 5.9 rating on IMDb. Number 4. Underworld. This is one of the most underrated movie, and I can say, many of you might not even heard about this one. Underworld is a series of dark fantasy action horror films created by Len Wiseman. This movie series has five films in the franchise, and the first movie Underground was released in 2003. The film is set against a backdrop of a centuries-old war between the Vampire Clan and the Lycans. The main story follows Selina, a vampire warrior and member of the elite Death Dealers squad, hell-bent on destroying the Lycans, who are accused of murdering her family. But when Selina learns that the Lycans are seeking a human named Michael Corvin for experimentation, she kidnaps Michael herself to find out what they're up to. In the process, Selina finds a mutinous conspiracy to kill the vampire elders, as well as a surprising revelation about her father figure elder, Victor. If you like vampire and werewolves films, then you are in for a treat because you are going to enjoy this movies. And Underground has a 7 rating on IMDb and 79% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. The Sorcerer's Apprentice. It is a 2010 action fantasy film directed by John Turteltaub. The story follows Balthazar Blake, a master sorcerer in modern-day Manhattan, who is attempting to save the city against his arch-nemesis, Maxim Horvath. Balthazar, however, cannot do it alone, so he enlists the help of Dave Studler, a physics student with hidden ability, as his unwilling protege. Balthazar gives his unwilling apprentice Davis a crash course in the art and science of magic, and the two very different companions fight together to prevent Harvath from resurrecting the spirits of the evil dead sorcerers and destroying the world. As Dave prepares to help his mentor defend Manhattan from a powerful enemy, he wonders if he can survive the training and save the city. If you want to watch an entertaining fantasy movie with good action, then this should be your pick. And the movie has a 6.1 rating on IMDb. Number 2. The Spiderwick Chronicles. It is a 2008 American fantasy film based on the book series of the same name. The story follows Simon and Jared, two infant twins, and their older sister Mallory as they relocate into the rundown Spiderwick estate in New England. But strange things start to happen when they come across a magical field guide published by Arthur Spiderwick, the previous owner of the house, they are drawn into a parallel world populated by fairies and other creatures such as goblins, ogres, trolls, and many others. But the main problem arises when they learn later about Mulgarath, a shape-shifting ogre who plans to utilize field guide secrets for evil. Now the teens have to do everything they can to keep the book safe from Mulgarath. Overall, the movie is absolutely fantastic and must watch for fantasy fans. And it has a 6.5 rating on IMDb and 81% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 1. The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. It is a high fantasy film directed by Andrew Adamson. It is the sequel to The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, which was released in 2005. The story is set one year after their previous adventure and follows the story of Pivensi children as they return to the magical land of Narnia and find that 1300 years have passed there. 
When war has come to Narnia once again, the children join forces with Prince Caspian to overthrow the evil King Miraz and restore peace to the land. I guess many of you have watched this movie, but if you are in that 1% who have not watched this movie yet, then I suggest you to watch now. After Lord of the Rings, Chronicles of Narnia film series is one of the best in fantasy genre. And the movie has a 6.5 rating on IMDb and 73% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.